What's up, traders? Market update time. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Listen, don't play the trade based on what you're seeing in this video. This guy that's talking to you right now over the video, over the internet, has completely lost it. Don't even listen to me. Turn this thing off. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bar. Guys, don't place a trade based on this video here. It's it, you only place a trade once you have once it meets all your rules. Okay? Don't be placing a trade because you think something's a good idea. That's never a good idea. Guys, links in the description if you want some free education, free coaching, and all that sort of stuff as well, too. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> Man, <laughs> it's Thursday here down under. It's been a big week. And I love it. So let's have a look at the Dow Jones National Average. What's going on right now on the Dow Jones? All right, let's, let's let me actually. Uh, yeah, so what's going on with the Dow Jones? So basically, like a little update today. What's really going on here? Um, let me actually bring up this. You know, what, let me bring up this chart here, and I'm going to bring up to the daily chart. And I'm just going to, I'm going to literally just remove all the moving averages. I'm going to remove them all. Remove. So guys, sometimes when you're trying to read the chart and read the, read the markets. Sometimes, no, not sometimes. A lot of the times, it's really, 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 really important to um, to, to to look at the market in a in a different formation and a different fashion. So, so what I mean by that is this, guys. When sometimes when you're trying to read what the market's doing, sometimes the best thing to do is do exactly what I just did here. See that there? See what I did? what did I do just there? I removed everything from the screen. There's no horizontal lines. There's no vertical lines. There's volume down here, and that's okay. But see, there's nothing on the chart. Make sense? Now, the reason why that's important to you, and 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 it's important to your to to your overall success, is because the most important thing is the chart itself. Make sense? The moving averages, the trend lines, all this sort of stuff can really, really, really clutter your judgment of what's really going on in the markets. Make sense? So, if we have a look at what the market's doing right now, we can really see, we can really get a good gauge of what's going on right now. So. Uh, let me just do this here. Let me bring up my trend line here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, it made a low, it made a lower low, and it made a slight, a slight lower high. All right. Someone said on my video the other day, I just like, oh, I tell you, you know what? Let me just go find this thing right now. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Someone said on my video yesterday, and let me, uh, let me show you uh, this here. So, uh, I did a video yesterday called, um, are we about to get a pullback? And this guy here, look at this over here, right? So this guy over here says this, right? This guy over here says this, he goes, the market's in crash territory, my friend, Never mind the lower highs. <laughs> I'm like, you obviously have no idea what the market's all about then. How do we know? We don't know whether the market's in crash territory. That is your thoughts, that is your opinion. That's not what the market's telling us. Like, yeah, we may come off through here and we may not. Right? So that is that is that is just that is just a way of um of of if you're looking at the market, you don't just say, well, the market's in crash territory, never mind the lower high. If you really understand how the markets work, then Go back and look at it. Do, do, do yourself a favor, guys, and go back and look at every single time, every single crash in history, right? Every single crash in history. Uh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can do this here. Um, uh, let me see if I can do this here. So, you know, what? if a lot of people are talking about the 19, I know I'm going off a bit of a tangent here, guys, but <laughs> just bear with me for a minute. <laughs> 1929 stock market crash. I'm gonna see if I can find an image there because I don't think I've got one on my on my desktop. So stock market crash. All right. So let me just let me just have a look at this here. Just give me a sec, guys. 1929. Um, and so and what I want to do, guys, is I want to share this with you because I just I think it's so 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 important, guys, to understand about this market, about the charts, and about that comment that that just happened when it comes. Forget the lower high, blah blah blah, all that sort of stuff. Makes sense. Um, that's what that's what a lot of people um, that's what a lot of people uh, uh, say. So let me actually just show this with you here. So you know what? Let me, yeah, let, here's an image here, guys. So what I'll do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this thing, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna share this with you here. So 
Um, look at this here, guys. All right, look at this here. And I want to share this with you because I think it's so, so, so important. They're saying like, you know, the, 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 D, the, the Dow Jones is very, very, very similar to what's actually happened here. So forget, the, forget that, that blind there, all right? But I want to share this with you guys. Look at this here, 1929. What happened here? Let me share this with you. Let me go here. Remember, remember, guys, the black line is what? The black line is the 1928 to 1929. Look at this black line. And this is why, guys, it's so, so, so important to understand what the market is telling us and what's going on. So we see this 1929. What do we have here? We have a what? We have a high, a high, high, a high, a higher low, a higher high. What is this here? This is a what? A lower low, then a lower high, breaking of the lows. Guess what, guys? And then after that, what ended up happening? Oh my goodness, the stock market crashed. Can you see how sometimes we make it more complicated than it really is? If we just read the chart, we can really see, we can really see what's you know what's really going on there. Uh, that was 1929, um, and even the 1987 stock market crash. If you have a look at every, if you have a look at that chart now, what's happening right now in the markets is more is representing more of what happened in the 1929 than the 19, uh, what happened in 1929 than 1987. Let me just share, let, uh, so uh, you see that chart there, right guys? Um, and let me, now let me bring up this chart here right now for you. Look at, look, look at this chart here, right? This is the 19 what? This is the 1987. So the 1987 is more like what's actually happening here. Right, 1987. So uh, now, what do we have here? This this looks very, very, very similar to what is uh, the 1987, right? 1987 stock market crash. What do we have here, guys? This again, this looks very, very similar to the Dow Jones right now, right? It's really, really, really similar. Um, so as we can see, right? So I'm not calling for a stock market crash, right? I'm definitely not calling for a stock market crash, but I want to share this with you that you'll be able to see if the market's going to start coming off. We can see what's happening here. Right now, it's really interesting. This looks really, 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 really similar to what actually what's going on right now. So, what do we have here, guys? We have a a, a high. Oh man, that's that's big, isn't it? Let me go to one, two. There we go, two. Right, because it's all fuzzy, isn't it? So, so we have a lower high. As you can see, we have these lows through here, and as you can see, right, this this lower high, sort of a sideways movement, breaking off these lows. See, see, lower high low breaking of the lows look what happened after that look what happened after that that's when we got the move down right so we had this lower high and that's where people say oh join the low high blah 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 blah, whatever it's like no look what's happening right now this is very 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 similar to what is happening right now in in the markets i'm not calling for a stock market crash but people say oh forget your lower high and stuff like that it's like guys it really is based on what the market is doing Right, it really is based on what the market is doing. You can see, oh, like, there's a lot of things on my charts here, and let me just delete everything off the chart here for a minute. It really is based on what what the charts are telling you, right? So we have a lower high, a lower high, and the market's going sideways, guys. If the market is going, if we're going to see a severe pullback, if we're going to see a severe pullback, then we we will we will definitely see that, and we're definitely getting this sort of action happening right now, as you can see, right? Sort of this sort of action happening. Not there, so it's probably more around there, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably more around that there. Right, so we've got this sort of action happening right now, right? So you can see we're squeezing up into the stronger pattern. So yes, if we start to get a nice a nice big breakout from here, and we start and we definitely start to break below these lows through here, guys, then yeah, then then there is a possibility that we may go through a severe pullback. But a severe pullback doesn't mean like an, an absolute crash. Where 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 it may pull back to? All you have to do is go back to a weekly chart, identify these lows, go back to a daily chart right now, down there. So yeah, we, we may get a quick flush down to, to say a four or five percent flush down to there, to that trend line. But it's just based on those, but it's based on the peaks and troughs, right guys? So we see that there, same for the S&P. What has happened with the S&P? The S&P actually ran up and now just gone sideways, right? It's just a, a, little, a little pop to the high side. It's like, it's really like, there's really no one, there's no one definitely in control here, is there? Really no one, it's like making lower highs, higher lows. It's not really in, 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 anyone definitely in control. If, now if we start to break above here, yeah, buyers are now starting to come back in control. And same for, same for, for the, uh, same for the, the NASDAQ as well too. You can see, going back to my candlestick chart now, guys, you can see based on what the, what the candles are showing, are showing what the charts are showing, 
we're, we're in this really sideways movement, aren't we? Really in this sideways movement. Go back to the weekly chart. Again, guys, so trend is definitely up. The trend is def definitely not down. So you want to, obviously, you, you, also, you want to make sure that you're staying with that trend. But um, but with the, with the NASDAQ right now, guys, it's like, it's it's obviously looking really strong again, right? The NASDAQ's looking the strongest out of all of them. So there we go. It's quick, quick little market. Oh, I was just say quick. A market update for you guys and then, and a bit of a thing about the stock market crashes and the charts. If we're going to go through something like that, guys, we're going to start to see those lower highs. And sometimes, the purpose of me bringing back those charts, sometimes it's best to actually bring it back to the chart and say, okay, what's really going on with, with these markets here? Okay, we had a low, we had a high, we had a, a lower low, a lower high, we had an equal low, now we had a higher high. Oh, look, oh, this actually may be a higher low and the market runs up and we start and we continue an uptrend. No one knows it's going to be a crash territory. Seriously? That's what they've been saying for the last five years, crash territory. There's no such thing as a crash territory. Yes, yes. if the market starts to break below these lows through here, especially even on the NASDAQ, guess what? Yes, then we could start to see some downward movement. But apart from, until that happens, guys, play ball on the upside. 